I want to tell you something, man. And I really don't feel like you'll hear this most other places. You do genuinely start to forget about it. It becomes faint in your mind. You know when you relapse and it's just right there and you can kind of go to it and even jerk off just the memory of it? Dude, when you create the distance that you know you need to create by living as the guy that you want to be, it does become more faint. Because that's all we really want, man. We just want control over the mind. When the image is, is right there or the video is literally playing in your head or it just won't leave you alone, creating a foggy mind, creating a fucking distracted mind. It's really hard to be yourself, man. It's really hard to do anything. But when you create that distance, that's what happens. Like, I need you to know, man, like you, you end up doing it. You might even change the way you even speak. I used to use it. That used to be for me. I am now like this. I am free rather than like, I'm trying to be free, you know, or I'm, I'm working on it. No, no, I am free. Fucking declare it. So from this place, man, I want to tell you how it is. And I want you to notice there's not too many people who can tell you this because this is a really hard thing to attain, or at least our culture has made it hard because of all the bullshit distractions and the endless PMO. You'll start to have a different relationship with PMO. It's a relationship with fucking huge boundaries. And it's like the most disciplined ass relationship that exists. Because really, man, this relationship, really, you've got a restraining order, <laughs> you know, like really, man, once you create the restraining order, you forget about it. That's the thing. It's an incredibly distant relationship. The reason we say it's like still a relationship is because like we don't want to block it out. We don't want to push it down. We don't want to repress it. Because when we repress it and we kind of like pretend we got to this point, dude, it just comes back even stronger. Like, as you know, what you resist persists. Yeah. And it's like way deeper and darker than you can possibly imagine. Like if you think you're good and you think you're chill and you think, no, I'm, I'm disciplined, I'm good, but you're pushing it down. My brother, PMO will sneak through the back door. <laughs> you will find yourself relapsing. Like what the fuck happened? How did they, do what, what the fuck? That happens to you, brother, when you don't appreciate the power of your mind. You've got to take this path slow and you've got to really do this work. Because if you don't do the work properly, it just comes back, brother. And you'll kind of judge yourself. And you're just like, oh, fuck off, man. I just I thought I dealt with you, you know? So instead, brother, what you can do is you can live. You can live clean, live pure, live as that guy that you know you want to be. In fact, man, you know what I'm going to say? I'm going to say this. Live as that guy that you fucking are. Because when you are trying to always be someone, it's just always a little bit ahead of you. Just in reaching distance. What we do, brother, is we wake up. If you don't know what that looks like, it looks like this. What the fuck have I been doing? What the fuck have I been doing? I've been asleep. Holy fuck. I've been so asleep. I've been fucking away in my life. I've been jizzing away in my life. I've been spunking my way alive. What the fuck? This fucking pornography drug has fucked me. And now it's time to fuck off. So I'm going to reclaim my fucking life with some balls. Yeah. By the way, everything I'm saying here, man, is with absolute utmost love. Yeah. It's, it's total love. It's not like scary, harsh discipline. Like any time that I um, heard, you know, people talking about this, like, oh, you must fucking quit. It just fucking turned me off completely, man. It, just to balance things out a little bit, man. Like if you need to, man, like my, honestly, my perspective is if you need to keep relapsing and burn through karma, in my paradigm, honestly, Matt, that's actually okay. Now, if you're wise, if you're smart, you'll know what I mean by that. It's not, oh, cool, man, I'll just hop off this video, go joke off. <laughs> no, man, it's like, oh, if in my really good life, I have a really fucking difficult critical moment and I don't pass it and I end up going back, I don't judge myself and I learn from the suffering that I get from that experience. So from me to you, brother, you are good because from this paradigm, you can't make a mistake. The only thing I would say, though, is if you're unwise or if you're not being smart, you could be ready bullshitting yourself. So this is pretty much the way that you stay stuck in PMO, pornography, 
just self-sabotaging. It's called bullshitting yourself. It's where you're just straight up lying to yourself about what's going on. For me, dude, when I really applied this no bullshit approach, it cut through everything and it stabbed me in the heart. I thought, no, you're going to take my pornography? You're going to take my, my sweet drug? Or really, it's a fucking sour drug, isn't it? Because you feel so shit afterwards. But I was like, no, man, don't, don't be so honest. Don't be so truthful. Don't be so real. I want to escape. This truth is threatening me. This no bullshit helps me to realize like, fuck, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just lying to myself. And I'm, I'm now I'm aware like, shit, how long do I want to do this for? Just be honest. You can be honest without being harsh on yourself. Do that. You got to see the bullshit. You got to call yourself out. You got to say, right, okay, this, this way of being, fucking it's not going to work. Hasn't worked, isn't going to work. If you do think deeply like me, man, you just think about your whole life. You think, sure, okay, I might be stuck in this for like a decade, maybe two, maybe two and a half. But for the rest of my life, man, I want to be living. I want to be outdoors. I want to be with people. I want to be with my conscious girlfriend. I want to be with my conscious guy friends. I want to be out and about. So when you're thinking like that, that's perfect because that will help create the right vision. Yeah, because the way you do this, man, you don't just blindly do it. You don't just think, oh shit, I'll try and not relapse for, you know, between now and next week. No, man, you, you start thinking big picture. You start realizing if I'm still going to be bullshitting myself in like five years, what, like, who am I going to be being? What kind of life am I going to have? Do I want that? And you know what's fucked up, man? You might be okay with that. If so, cool. I'm not speaking to you. I'm speaking to you if you are like, dude, I cannot keep bullshitting myself. I would rather grab life by the balls and just do what I need to do to get myself free. And as I've said, what that is, is it's you living the life. Because when you live the life, you just make what you're doing normal. And then when it's normal, you don't need to try. You don't need to put loads of effort in. You don't need to be super disciplined to try and not watch pornography. Instead, you just live into your life. You just do your thing. You just literally live, my brother. Because what you need is the right life setup so that you can be this person effortlessly. You start doing this. You start living. You start spending time with family and it just it's enjoyable. You start seeing your friends. And you're like, man, this is the best I've felt in ages because I just feel happy with people. Whereas before, in both those situations, you were in your head. You were a bit socially anxious. You were feeling a bit shit and self-conscious. Now you're like, oh, I, I get it. I see it. I get it. I see that it's worth it. Now, brother, I want you to imagine your mind. And I want you to imagine feeling really present, really clear, really calm. And just like you've got your mind back. You know, you feel sharp. You feel here and you feel yourself. And I want you to realize that you're going to have a moment where maybe something pops up. Maybe you catch a glimpse of a blurred out screenshot of a PMO website. And then you pause and you feel inward and you notice that part of you is, <laughs> he's there, is there, right? But this time you think to yourself, hmm, my God. It has been so long that I fed that part of myself. You look around, you see your friends, you see your family, you see a girlfriend, a boyfriend. You look at yourself, you see someone who's fit, who's in shape. You look in the mirror, you see someone who's bright, who's present, who's happy. And then you remember Jesus Christ, man. I see. I remember when I would just go back. I remember when I was prone to being triggered. But now, my God, man, the difference is extraordinary. You know what I've noticed, man, is I realize that even myself now, I'm starting to become disconnected from the topic of no PMO and no fat. And I do appreciate if this isn't like super relatable, man, I, I get you. 
but I'm going to say it anyway. I've noticed that PMO is so not present in my reality, it's almost difficult for me to talk about. Because for me to go back to that mental space actually requires a bit of effort. Because for me, the work I've had to do is I've had to live, as I've said. I've had to be this person. The reason I wanted to shoot this was to share with you that what I happen to be experiencing is completely possible for you. So feeling almost disconnected or like you can't really remember what it was like or it's just a faint memory. It's a distant memory. You have to kind of like sit down, close your eyes and really go there to go there and to feel it, which is really, dude, exactly where you want to be. You want it to be so in the past, so faint. You want your mind to be so clear. I've literally helped people do this exact thing. And they are different men. They're people who have just fucking reclaimed themselves. Because they just got it, man. They saw the possibility and they said, you know what, man? Okay, I'm in. Let's do it. Really, man, ultimately, the toughest part is just being on that edge of just, do I want to commit? Do I prefer PMO secretly? Do I just want to keep doing it? Listen, man, no judgment. I could be there too and just not be speaking to you right now. But I just happen to have done the work that I've done. Yeah. So, my brother, my dearest brother. If this speaks to you, man, if this speaks to your soul. And you know that you want your mind back. You just want that clear mind, brother. Which... For some of you guys, you've maybe never experienced ever, which breaks my fucking heart. If you want that clear mind and PMO to just be a fucking memory, brother, just a memory. You know, people mention it like, oh yeah, no, I remember that. Versus shit, man. Yeah, no, I really fucking struggle with that. You know, man, make a commitment, not just to not watch pornography, Because as you know, man, it doesn't work. It's not strong enough. If you're trying to not do something, you're going to probably do it at some point. Because discipline just may fail. For me, the way I did it, man, is I created a commitment into something way bigger. My fucking life. The way I am. My identity. How I treat myself. How I look at myself. How I view myself. Who the fuck I am. When I committed to being this guy... It wasn't easy because it's fucking not, bro. But it worked. And it created that permanent change that I was just longing for, man. I was fucking desperate. Because I knew, man, I was at a bit of a crossroads. I thought, well, listen, brother, I'm either going to just keep bullshitting myself for another few years, probably longer, or I'm just going to do it and commit. You're going to change because you know it's worth it. And really, man, if I'm speaking to the guy who's already changed, I'll I'll be saying something different. I'll be saying, dude, you listened. You listened. You knew. You knew what you had to do. You fucking did it. Now you can enjoy your life, my friend, without constant anxiety, without a limp-ass dick, without depression, without brain fog, without just uh, the need to have something, you know? That was something that put me off, man. I just didn't want to have to depend on something. Fuck. You know? One day, my brother, we're not going to speak about this anymore. Because it will just be so clear in your mind that you cannot have pornography in your life. And it's not that you cannot have it. You can. It's that listening to your higher self and your wisdom and just your self-honesty, you choose to just say no, all right? It's a conscious choice. And I'm not kidding, brother, when I say it could go down as the best decision of your life. For me, dude, honestly, I think it is. I think it is the best decision of my life. Can you hear that? Like, this isn't just a no fat video, man. I'm trying to communicate with your soul and tell you this was the best decision of my life. 
you know? Like, can you pick that up? If you're still watching and you can hear me, then my God, my brother, hear this, listen to this. You have no idea how good it gets. You'll be free. My God, dude, I really hope you've got the message. I really hope you can feel me on this one, man. I do try to speak to your higher self, you know? Final thing, man. If you would benefit from working with me one-to-one, -one, I do offer coaching and mentoring. If that speaks to you, you can see the link in the description. You can book a free call with me. Otherwise, my friend, I love you. I hope this has helped you. Dude, take care. Lots of love. And as always, man, peace.